I'm Rob Johnson. Here are stories making news right now. Residents in Oak Park are on alert after somebody abducted and assaulted a 13-year-old girl. Here's CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli. We're rolling on an assignment today that has residents in Oak Park on alert, and uh, the information is still fresh, so I'm going to read to you what we're receiving. First of all, from the Oak Park Police Department, they're investigating the alleged abduction and assault of a 13-year-old girl. It reportedly happened yesterday at about 4 o'clock. Police are saying that in the 600 block of Washington Boulevard, this young girl uh, was walking, and she was pulled into a red Toyota, but she was able to eventually flee from that vehicle and run to a friend's house where then she notified Oak Park Police. Uh, we understand that she was taken to Oak Park Hospital. She was treated and released into the care of her mother. Now, in response to that, the school district, Oak Park River Forest uh, High School and the school district there are announcing that there will be increased patrols at Oak Park schools today and they are putting uh, parents on alert. They uh, want parents to know that this incident was reported to the police department and they want parents to know why they are seeing uh, an increased police presence around the schools, especially at dismissal today. Anyone with information is urged to call the Oak Park River Forest Police Department. Students at Whitney Young are planning a fundraiser tonight for a slain classmate. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker has the story. Whitney Young senior Brandon Young was murdered Friday night uh, at the hotel room that he shares with his mom. Today, students here at the school are planning a memorial. The school plans to host a fundraiser tonight during their basketball game to help the family with funeral expenses. And friends and family are asking the question, why? Why would anyone want to murder this special needs young man who has been here for years and seemingly wouldn't hurt anyone? Local news is making a comeback in Chicago three months after DNA Info shut down. Now some former editors and reporters are launching their own local news site called Block Club Chicago. Co-founder Seamus Toomey explains. So we decided maybe this is, uh, this is too good to just let go. So we formed Block Club Chicago. We we're going to be a nonprofit neighborhood news site. Um, we are going to be a little bit smaller than DNA Info at the beginning, but we're hoping um, with support from the community, from our readers, um, that, that we'll be able to maybe even expand you know, hopefully soon. We're, it's going to be a subscription based. We think, um, I think the time is right now for, just, you know, to ask for some contributions from our readers. The Chicago Auto Show opens this weekend. CBS 2's Derek Young shows us a custom made Nissan that is ready for the snowy roads of Chicago. We have the coolest car that you will see at the auto show. Wendy's going to tell us about it. This is the Nissan 370 Ski. We took a stock 370Z convertible Roadster and we put skis on the front and tank tread on the back in order to make it essentially Nissan's interpretation of a snowmobile. Got it. And behind it we have pulling it the... Yeah, you got to pull it. So we're showcasing the 8,500 pounds of towing we have in Armada Snow Patrol. We took the Armada and souped it up to be the ultimate mountain warrior. <laughs> So you cannot outfit your 370Z to look like this. The only one you can see will be at the auto show. Make sure you get there. Make sure you go to the Nissan display and check it out. And finally, here's Mary Kay Kleist with your forecast. Well, let's keep those shovels handy because on radar tonight, we see the cloud deck already moved in from the satellite review. But now on radar, we're seeing new snow forming from Omaha to Waterloo to Quincy. And that is going to be inching into Illinois as we go through the night. Our evening rush, though, we can breathe a sigh of relief, will be dry, but very cold for that. Late tonight, probably between 10 p.m. and midnight, we'll start seeing that snow sneak in. Low pressure winding its way through the northeast here. An icy accumulation is possible for these areas in pink, but we are on the snowy side of it, obviously, with the cold air that's locked in place already. This storm will give us the lift and energy that we need to produce that snow. And the height of the accumulation will be between midnight and 5 a.m. We're expecting about one to three inches with poor visibility. It's snow covered roads.